Hey guys, I'm in Kena, Prussia, Pennsylvania today, and we are at Amazing Escape Room. And actually, they have a uh, Bury the Hatchet location here too. You can throw some axe throwing. Um, they have plenty of parking here outside. Well, free parking, so should be very easy for you to get out. Check out what they have inside. Oh no, they're close. <laughs> what if I knock? Maybe yeah. if I knock. If you knock, yeah. I'll yeah. Probably knock? Easier. Okay, let's let's do it. Oh, they're open. Hi guys. Hey. Hey. Welcome to Escape from King of Prussia. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Brandon you. and uh, Cece behind Hi, the camera. Cece. <laughs> Hi guys, come on in. Thank you. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. Guys, okay. We're good. Beautiful weather. Yes, it is. Full, uh, great for escape rooms. <laughs> So we've been to other locations before, and uh, this is the first time visiting King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, um, and it looks amazing. When did you guys open? Just FYI. we opened. I want to say what is this? This is 2021. So we opened at least about maybe two and a half years ago. Okay. Yes. All right. And how many rooms do you currently have here? We have three rooms currently, guys. Three lovely okay. rooms. Okay. <laughs> well, let's take a walk. You have a really beautiful hallway. Yeah, let's so get a little bit of a tour. Guys, come in. We have the famous Illusionist. This is about our mysterious magician Malini. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And then if you take a few more steps down this way, we have our pirate tier, the pirate ship, under the command of Captain Calabasas. And he's not too good either. Yeah. So they say. <laughs> and then, uh, and you, then you... our last room we okay. offer is submarine. I think this is the one we're playing today. This yeah. is the one you guys okay. are doing today. And this rogue octopus, we call him Electro 3000. He, he's tough. He's pretty tough, guys. Well, um, well we're going to see how tough he is. <laughs> I mean, you guys are the experts. So uh, I wouldn't know. say that, we'll but we'll see what happens. <laughs> so here's a hard question for you. Uh -huh. I'm going to hit you with the hard ones first. Right at it. Which one of these threes are your favorite? I would say right off the top, my favorite for full fun and like adventure would be pirate ship. I would say pirate ship. Okay. Now, if you're looking for more of a technical, logical thinker, tinker, my guy submarine. All right. I feel like she's gonna say all of them eventually, just for different reasons. <laughs> um, all right. If you were, if if a bit of a beginner came in and said, "I want," I've never played one before. Which one should I start with? What would you say? Oh, I would start with Illusionist. Illusionist is pretty straightforward, um, but it's also fun, very whimsical type of thing. I feel like it's a good introduction to escape rooms. You know, if you haven't ever done them and like you're freaked out about it, yeah. it's like, hey. How about we have some fun? You like magic? Who doesn't? You right, know, type right. of thing. <laughs> All right. Well, um, let's get a let's walk and talk. I, I'm noticing you have a whole facility over here, mm -hmm. buried a hatchet on site. Mm -hmm. You mind if we take a stroll? All right. Let's and go. Come on in. So we have buried the hatchet at Sterling. This is our King of Prussia location. And believe it or not, we even have a pass that called Escape and Access because we're literally just steps away. Yeah. So here is the fast paced action pack. It is there. huge and I can have myself up go. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh. We have two sides, guys, believe it or not. As you can see, this side right here has nine lanes. And then if you step over here through this, we have an additional seven lanes. So we are one of the biggest locations of our company. Wow. Yes. This is amazing. All right. Um, well, Have I'm going to get some footage of this. this. I've done it in Sweden, actually. Like, literally, like, with the hay, throwing out the hay. Like, <laughs> I guess, real traditional. Nice. Um, never done it here. I mean, you know, it looks really cool. One day I'm going to have to tear away from oh, the escape rooms. Definitely. And we might try have to get you guys just to throw one. Just Ooh, we'll see what happens. Um, so let me ask you something. 
what are some of the uh, steps you had to take during pandemic to, you know, implement to make things a little bit, you know, more comfortable for the players to come? Also, the precautions you needed to take. What are some of the things you had to do? So, of course, like everywhere, masks is definitely one of the biggest steps that we took. And then, of course, putting up certain uh, window partitioners, like when speaking with guests, um, keeping everything um, private. I would honestly say that is the biggest thing that we've done is making everything private. Uh, beforehand, if you were, let's just say a group of four, we would kind of put another group of four or a group of five and with you just to fill up. Now, if you're a group of four, it's just you and your group, just the four of you. Um, that is the biggest thing and that we really don't see us changing that um, oh. in the future as of right now. Yeah. Okay. So. We know you play a, a couple of you played a couple of escape rooms. Like as far as because amazing escape rooms has so many locations and so many games. Each location has different games. What is your favorite amazing escape room game that you've played? So I would definitely have to go and give a shout out to my freehold location, um, Comic Shop. It's one of our newest rooms, but I had a ton of fun. I'm talking superhero action. If you ever want to feel like you know a hero, that's your room to try. Yeah, yes. absolutely. We did a we did a little uh, exclusive tour of inside the first room. Nice. Um, so yeah, they'll know what to expect when they get there. Okay guys, so we're actually standing in their game which is called the Pirate Ship or Privateer. Uh, we're not playing this game, but we wanted to give you a sneak peek. Um, but I do want to ask you a question. You've seen a lot of players do crazy things. We love hearing the stories. Give us a story that you've seen like over the camera or you oh, just... Yeah. man. So, it's funny that we're standing inside of Pirate Ship because one of the stories are based off of our friend Davy Jones here. Okay. As you can see, we had stripped Davy of his clothes because customers tend to do that for us. And his skin. And his skin. <laughs> they then try to untie him, tackle him, just thinking there's something more to it. Um, but the most memorable thing I seen with inside of a room is we had a group of like 10 to 12 year old girls. And we like to have fun with our guests here. So sometimes we'll say, hey, give us your best dance move. We'll give you guys a clue. Well, these ladies put on a show for us. We seen a full on dance routine, guys. I mean, they bust out a full routine wow. from, all we just seen was unison of arms and turn, and we're like, what? We're like, you guys get all of this clue, all of it. So that was- Totally forgot they were in escape room. We totally <laughs> forgot. I mean, they utilized the space so well. I was like, Go ahead. So I think they really got confused and thought this was their music video set. And yeah. like, let's, instead of <laughs> instead of booking a studio to do our video, we're already yes, here. They're already here. They had the space. They just needed music, and they were good to go. Wow! Shout out to them. That's great. Shout out to them. Well, thank you for sharing that story. We love hearing oh, all the different things. Are you guys ready? Hey. You. Oh, are we talking about skate rooms or are we talking about dancing? Because you know. I, I'll, oh. I'll get it in. Like, I'll, oh, I'll... <laughs> you guys uh, definitely come check out Amazing Escape Room in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, and you know what to expect when you get to this location. They have three rooms currently available. Any room for a fourth, or you're maxed out at three? We might max out at three, but you never know.
Oh, all right. Know? They also have buried a hatchet too. Large space, enough for you and your friends. Definitely come check it out, Bruce. <laughs> took the whole wall down. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Do not mess with that. Yeah. <laughs> Do not mess with her. She, yeah. You know, we're, we're a bird a hatchet. I gotta throw an axe or two. throw an axe. But before I do so, I need to be properly informed on what we're working with here. It looks like you have different types. So tell us about the different. All right, so we have our lighter axe, which is the tomahawk, very light, smaller. And then we have our big guy, our hatchet. That's it. Okay. Um, I, I'll try one of each. I think I'll start uh -huh. with the... I would recommend you start with the hatchet. Start yeah. with the heavier Start with the hatchet. One. Okay. Start with yeah, the hatchet. Yeah, be a man, Brandon. Start with the, the heavier one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch with you. You hold this. All right. Is this what we're working with here? So that's your tomahawk. You start with the heavier one. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll come on this side and then... <laughs> Give it a go. All any, right. Any, any tips? It's been a while since so I've So of course there are tips. Okay. Now, you can use these lines as your guideline. You don't mm -hmm. ever want to step over that top so line there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, just like that, all one swift motion. You're going to keep your main foot, your dominant foot placed, and you're going to step with your left. So? Boom. Okay. Just so like that. So I see people do stuff like this. That is our underhand. Oh, uh -huh. it actually is a thing. It actually is a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try that another time. Another time, another time, another time. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, obviously. So, if you're gonna go hand over hand, you're gonna oh, go like this. Yeah. Dominant hand first, so your right hand, and then your left hand is gonna go right over top. Over, okay. Mm -hmm. Place, and then you're gonna take that step. Oh, two hands. And follow it. That's a two hand. Now, you could do one hand. I think I'm more comfortable with the one hand. Do one hand. Okay. Boom. Keep it all straight, locked in. Right. Follow through. Hopefully, I won't have to do any video editing on this. <laughs> no, nope, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. All right, here we go. Going for it. Up. Nice. Now just release I hit the wall, higher. Man. It hit the wall, right? But it, it made it. So now I just release higher. <laughs> See, this is where I get to use my, my glitching effect and then fix that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Remember now, not now to flick your wrist. Sorry? Remember not to not flick your wrist. Yes. yes. Lock it in. Lock and... it in. That was something, but it didn't yes. connect. It didn't. But that was it. That was it, right? That was it. I it think there's something wrong with the axe. It's something wrong with the board. It's not even you. It's the board. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's try the other one to see if we have a better Let's try a little one. guy. Tomahawk, right? Uh-huh. Oh, this is much lighter, yeah. You'll feel right. it. Hopefully we connect. We got this. We're locking it in. Hey, and I there it is. The furthest one away from the circle, but I'm in there. You're in there. <laughs> All right, I think CC should come in. I think you should, CC. Yeah. I'll go grab that. I think you got. I think just come on in. You got this. You're gonna do it for the ladies. We're letting it roll. <laughs> what is happening? I'm gonna go live. On uh, um, am I doing? You can do the lighter one or the heavier one. This is the heavier one? No, that's the lighter one. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay. So, uh -huh. dominant hand, you're right handed too, right? Uh, yeah. And Brandon, could we pass this back over to you? Thank you so much. So. Not yet. Let me know when you're about to go. Yeah, so we send your arms up. There you go. Look, it that never connected. It came throw. back. It came back. It never really stayed. It was her first throw. That was my first throw. You gotta post I got that. You look on in the no, no, no. I gotta go one more time now. This is this not right. I, I'm gonna hit. I'm, I'm hitting that red. What did she use? She used the tomahawk. She used the tomahawk. She used the tomahawk. She used the Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Invasion. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Locked in. 60 minutes to escape. Think before you move. There's no room for mistakes. No. So you got what it takes.